Hi, I'm Mark Seal, and today I want to teach you about string skipping and how it might incorporate some really unique sounds to your playing. When I'm talking about that, if I give you an example of an A major chord and we just randomly skip strings, I'll make a pattern out of it. Let's go 6 to 4, 5 to 3, 4 to 2, 3 to 1. So 6 to 4, 5 to 3, 4 to 2, 3 to 1. When we play a pattern like that, it's a lot more challenging right up front, but you're not getting the same notes of always just going up and down a chord, right? Arpeggiating up and back. If we take that same concept, I'm going to play a G-sharp minor chord on the 11th fret, but I'm going to leave the 6th string and the 1st string open. What I'm going to do here is play string 6 to 1, 5 to 2, 4 to 3, 5 to 2. And as I do that, you'll notice a completely different sound. There'll be a big jump from the lowest note to the highest note, and the intervals will get tighter together and then go back out as I reverse it. You notice it gives kind of a unique sound. And what I would do is I would randomly pick string combinations that I would want to play to create more interesting sounds that I might not have otherwise thought of. 